All right, now I've got the good camera on. We'll wait for Chewbacca to enter the stair, the stairwell of joy. Is that tilted this way? My tape measure. I don't need to know this right now. Ignore it, get work done. So this video is going to involve me doing this a lot because I don't know where anything fucking is. There, extension cord. Uh, what has to happen is I've been in the house three days. I just filmed the other video, like the, the first tour video where I brought the wrong camera down. So this probably looks a lot better on the Hero 8 than the Hero 4. We're gonna set up my, uh, I would say gaming computer, but really that computer is, was VR, emails, video encoding, major uploading, like that was my computer. And I've been in the house for three days using my laptop and the laptop's fine but it's like I can't encode video on it. I have none of the programs set up. I don't have any of my tabs open. So um, major problem number one, get off my fucking projector you fly bastard. Are you a spider or a fly? Oh, I was gonna flap it with that. There's something I could smash this thing with. I don't like flies. Ready? You ready? Pretty sure I got him or he flew away. One of those two. Uh, so if you were watching the previous video, you understand how desperate I am for electrical neat things down. <laughs> I'm so glad I have these from camping. And I know what you're saying, Zeos, what do you mean camping? You shouldn't have giant extension cords for camping, but we camped at a racetrack and there was power if you can get to it. So we always brought the most uh, things we could find. Not gonna light up, it lit up, okay. So, I'm probably just gonna use this back table here, which I was using for sorting. Take this off. And I'll just set up my 40 inch 4K and both my NAS and my computer and get, oh, did I bring the networking box down? I did bring the networking box down, it was the last video. This is all my networking stuff, which I'll put here. This also has my uh, VR headset, my index is in here. And so the plan for this house is to leave the upstairs as pristine and beautiful as possible. Is that water damage? Where is that? That's under the fucking sink. It's under the motherfucking sink that I know is leaking and the fucking home inspector didn't, mm. I should have, like, Hindsight is always 2020, but I should have seen it and, I, and he should have seen it. Just open the bottom of every sink and see if there's water. Because there blatantly fucking is. I got it didn't throw this lamp out. Because this basement is not that well lit. Even though I changed all the bulbs to LEDs, it's still like 12 bulbs. Pasta's clothing is going to have to move over a little bit. Uh, monitor last, monitor, 40 inch monitor last. Need to move you. You. So here's my computer, my mouse, my keyboard. Oh, my sprained left wrist. If I drop anything on my left arm, you can just blame that. Oh, I don't know what was on this table. But it's got fucking three marks like, oh, I know what table this was. This was a table with the headphone shelf on it. That's, that's the Emotiva speakers. This is a table. So here's where my regular computer was. This was a table with the headphone shelf. Wow. It's fucking bizarre, by the way. Like I, all these tables, these tables are the tables that were in that room. And I could just go into a corner, probably that corner, and I would have to put, yeah, these divots, those are from the glass shelves with the equipment on it. So this table would go on the far right. And then right around here somewhere, the review table would hit it because there was a rack. And then there was the other six foot table, which was this table. That means there should be a table with, well, that has the dots. I, in other words, I could rebuild my, my review space to the, to the millimeter. 
just so I know how all the tables interlocked in that small space. But we're not doing that right now. So now we have just turntables here, which makes me look like a real audiophile. Nothing like a $60 two pound Onkyo. Oh, by the way, put paper towels in every area of the house. A sweaty, B dusty. A sweaty, B dusty, if you know what I mean. Just, just to give things wipes. Uh, I picked this out last episode. God damn it. Why is everything dirty? <sighs> um, the NAS really does not need to go on first. The NAS can be last. That's more important. Video encoding for, more important than storage. I want to kind of set it up as far away from the review desk because I don't think I'm moving the review desk right now. That's fine. You're welcome to my basement. You're going to watch reviews here. Um for the time being. I might pull the desk out, bring it upstairs, and just hook up in a random beautiful room. But right now, we are. We are, we are. I hate, by the way, I, you know, I could, I could do the monitor diagonal, which I really do. There's something mentally I can't handle of like flat against things set up for computing. I just can't do it. I did it for a while and it's just uncomfortable and I can't like lean my elbow on my table. Like I like to be like against it. Like I could get my CRT, but that only hooks up to the 7970 graphics card that I have in my home theater PC, which is currently upstairs, not running. So let's move you. Like I could set you up on the floor. Although there's spiders that are gonna crawl inside you and make nests. They're gonna nest in your brains. Oh. This left, I can lift with my left wrist. I just can't open a doorknob. It's very strange. I can still lift like a hundred pounds, but as soon as I got to open a door, it's like, ah, I guess that's sprains do. So let's just, let's just try to set this up like my old desk, which actually had the same orientation of computer there, monitor here, monitor can come last. We have to, if you've never seen my computer before, by the way, hello. There's gonna be a not safe for work playing card in here that I've had in every computer since like the turn of the millennium. Don't ask. Don't ask questions and I won't give you lies. If you never ask me questions, I don't have to lie to you about the origin of things. Um, this case is so small. This is an old, not an Enermax. I covered whatever the fuck it was. But um, this is designed to be a home theater PC. And I built my main like system in it so that the graphics card can't even have the power plugged in while the side is on. So you have to disconnect the power supply from the graphics card in order to close the side of it. So every time I go to a LAN, I have to do this, which is not a big deal, it's just that. Because that sticks up past the event horizon. I don't know, it's just, I wanted it as small as fucking possible so I could travel with it, and this is it. 1000 watt power supply, MSI, 1080, GTX 1080. Uh, these have to go back in so I don't lose them. Big thumb screws that don't even match. I, mean, I don't know where the fuck this one came from, but look at the size of it. It's a beast. It might be from a computer from like the fucking 90s. So now we're gonna need a UPS, which I believe are, because I'm gonna have to run it off this massive fuck off extension cord, because I have to. I believe the UPSs are there. This, why is this so, that's packing material. That's when I packed my packing material. So that box weighs nothing. It's filled with bubble wrap. I need one of you. I should have marked which one of you is actually the correct one. Although this house does have a generator. So, I mean, you should always do a, a UPS even if you've got a generator because the generator is gonna do some funky shit when it's turning on and off and swapping over and it may not be instant. So UPS your electronics, boys and girls. And I really should invest in like, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna probably see if I can get another one of those racks or just get a real rack, fucking get a real server rack, but I don't want to make this a server rack zone. I could hear JDM Watt watching this video already going, man, you need like a rack. Like, like Quiet down here. This is the quiet area. Listen to that. That's already too noisy, but it's fine. Like that's fine. Just in the, that's cooling my whole house. Um, which one's which? Okay, let's unplug the light. Let's plug the light into 
the just surge end of this. Let's plug you into here. Power you up. Well, I love how it just yells at you if you press it too short. It's like, ah, ah, but, okay, so. The question is, did I pack everything I need into one box? Probably not, because I took everything apart in stages. So we've got networking cables. I will definitely need some of these. Put those down there. This is my uh, mesh repeater network, the rock repeater network thing, rock space. These were sent to me for unboxing and I ended up using them. These, these ended up being very fucking important in my last apartment. And they might be more important now, honestly. This house is pretty, the house is only like one and a half floors because it's giant fuck off basement. Then an entire floor, this exact same size and then just a loft above that. But I have a feeling that I'll have one of these on every level or at least two sides of the house and then down here. So if I do computer stuff all down here, my, my plan is that I'll never have a computer itself upstairs. Like if I do like my main gaming computer here, I could just, I want to, I want a ceiling mount for VR. I want to literally ceiling mount the computer so that I can walk. Why? Wow, see, this is going to suck for VR also. I have to do VR in a spot where there isn't like this would be better for VR, like this square. This way you can't bash your hands on anything. So you get to this and you punch that motherfucker. But if I ceiling mount the computer, then I don't have to have a cable going from wherever up and then to the middle and then out. It's just boom, just don't hit it. And I'll, I just have to get a computer case that fits within 16 inches on center. And then I'll just gut it, expose it so there's air and then just plug my, plug my shit into it. And then with the computer mounted to the ceiling, if for say I wanted to use actually the office back there, Maybe I should make that the VR space, but I don't know. This feels like a this feels like more wasted space. Like VR chairs are already here, so you know. I don't know. It's all this is all speculation. Testicular speculation. Um, I guess the first thing we'll do is get the computer to boot, and then once the computer boots, then I'll start working on networking stuff. Um, these are the only two that are not labeled like super high speed, which is fine for keyboard or mouse. I hate when they're all super high speed, then I feel like I'm wasting it. Actually, I used to have these plugged into an individual four pole breakout, a four pin. I don't know why these are all here. Come on up, up and through. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making up this knot as we, as we sit here. It actually worked. I'm a fucking genius. I'm just yanking things. My smart things hub. This house is going to need so many smart things that I don't think smart things can handle it. My friend Dan is, uh, does home automation and he came here and he went, yeah, we can handle this. How much money you got? How much time you got? So I'm just like, oh God, so here's my actual, I could switch to just these. I have at least one more of these ubiquity wireless senders. Um, so, I mean, they're pretty enough and there are power over ethernet. So you only need one cat five cable and I could build cat five cables. So I'm probably not going to set this up this moment. If I start spreading out everywhere, it's going to be a nightmare. So I'm just going to leave this in this pile. I go, I wanted to put that on that shelf just now. And I'm like, eh, here's the index, which I made the mistake of not remembering it was in this box and then tried to yank out a piece of foam. I'm like, I need this piece of foam. And it upset the entire apple cart. Actually, that, that is the best example of this because if you ever upset the apple cart, it's when you have a beautiful pile of apples and you pull one out and the whole fucking thing starts falling down. That's literally what I did. Here's my Ubiquiti network. I forget what it's called. This, I'm walking to the table with this. This was my holder for VR controls, which is a suction cup with a magnet built in. 
so I could do that and hold my VR controls. Uh, this is my card reader. I'm gonna need that to download. Actually, no, this is the other card reader that I lost. So if anyone was asking, hey Zio, did you ever find anything while you were cleaning up and moving that you thought you lost forever? This, I bought another one of them because this is the best, simplest SD, micro SD card reader. That's it, that's all this is. USB-C, done. And I bought another one because I lost that one and I ended up finding that one. I don't even remember where I found it, so the, the, the joy of it is gone. There's litter box dust on this. One day I'll finish Half-Life Half -Life Alex. One day. Oh, I gotta get my fucking... My lighthouses are still up in the house, of the apartment. Fuck. Um, I don't want spiders crawling into the headset, so I'll probably get a clear box and just put all this stuff, or put that all back in this box. Once I've got it emptied out. Foams and protective pieces down here. I'm gonna need one of these to hold my cutting board in my kitchen. Anything VR out and onto the table. Uh, automation. See, automation stuff does not count as networking stuff. So I'm just gonna put that there. That stuff I need today, that stuff I don't need today. Actually, I could use, holy fuck. If I get the software out, I can use my phone's Wi-Fi hotspot. I could use that to hook up to the rock space and then I could broadcast my Wi-Fi hotspot all over the house with these. I feel like that's gonna definitely destroy my data. Data. Oh, baby. Will I ever use you again? I have my rechargeable batteries in here. I can't lose this. Oh, this cat fuzz. And now there's dirt on my fucking floor. Fuck. I don't need that right now. That's why I like these shelves. They're just like, put things in the shelves. Don't bury them. Separate things that I could look and see. I'm a visual learner. If I can't see something, it doesn't exist. What's that? COVID-19? I can't see it. It doesn't exist. No, it really does exist. Please don't be that person who's like, I don't believe in this COVID-19 shit. One of my neighbors said that to me, and I'm like, please believe in it. <laughs> please. I know that it's the weirdest. I don't want to get political on everybody, but I'm around people who would fight and die for this country, but they don't believe the government. They love the country, but not the government. The government is the country. If government shit, your country shit. And our country is a big pile of shit right now and needs to be fixed. Because it's just, and it's not just whoever's in office. It's the entire way the whole, I'm not getting political, but the whole system's broken. And you could vote all you want. It ain't gonna change shit. Um, my living room remote. Oh, it's got beat up in there. It'll, it'll heal, but I mean, that's, that's still, that's a thing I don't want to lose. Should have wrapped that up. This camera does not belong down here. Again, leave it on top of something. Let you see it. All I know is that if you don't believe you should be wearing a mask because the government tells you, because the government lies to you, just wear a fucking mask, you moron. Let any doctor tell you. Oh, well, not any doctor. Let a... The fuck is this? I don't recognize you at all. Fantastic. Ooh, my Google. The only reliable, like this, this answers questions that I actually have. Uh, I have a pile of this stuff upstairs. I have all my um, Android ones in my kitchen and I had the screen one plugged in and I plugged it in and didn't know the time. And every time I'm like, Echo, it was like, I can't connect to anything, fix your shit. And I'm like, fuck, shut up, shut up, shut up. Throw that down, what's this? You're for Amazon Echo? Oh, this. This fucking thing. The Show 5, I'm pretty sure it went deaf. Like I could talk to it and it'll light up and then I'm like, turn on the lights and the one in the fucking, my other bedroom was, was answering the call. And then if I unplugged it and plugged it back in, it worked again. So I might just end up trading that in for like one of the bigger ones. Just to have it show me pictures of anime titties bigger. Like that's literally the reason that I would trade it in. Because it hardly works for that reason. For its actual intended purposes. More networking cable. This is the control circuit relay box for the projection screen. So all that hardware is here. 
There's my projection screen. I will, here's the thing. There'll be a projection set up upstairs in the loft space behind the fucking big beam so you don't see it. A screen will come down. Preferably a 235 to one again. But my old eight foot screen, which will seem minuscule anywhere I put it, will, will be down here. There'll be, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend a lot of time down here. My, my reviews are down here fine, but if I have to review a headphone, I don't have to be down here. I'm gonna take the headphone, I'm gonna take a portable fucking player that I trust, I'm gonna go sit in my loft. I'm gonna go sit on the fucking porch. I can, I can assess headphones and portable players and most amp DACs not here. Come down here for reviews. Come down here to listen to speakers loudly. That's, that's the goal. Um, another puck. And where were you? Oh, you're from my actual review desk, right? This is the main charging bus of my entire house. This is, this charged everything forever. This needs to come upstairs. <sighs> See, I don't know if I'm, I haven't decided where my base of operations is right now because I have this beautiful home and this is not my beautiful home. This is my large basement. My beautiful home is up there and I want to spend time up there, but I can't ignore this place because this place is where I'm going to make my living. This was plugged into that. This is two of those three-way plugs. Those are for networking things. You, smart home device. Uh, VR things, the magnet, this is the magnet structure that was up in the, um, the vent that I pulled down. So I could literally do like, so can't lose that now. Uh, oh, the fucking mic, I need this up, actually, no, I'm gonna be, I've been talking to my microphone on my laptop and that's gotta go upstairs. That's my Samson directional mic. Super good. We've got fiber optic and the D1090 cable, which I was like, fuck, where'd this cable come from? Oh, fuck, the D1090s, oh, fuck. So I might as well leave the optical cable and the D1090 cable on top of the D1090s. Good, it's still cold. When I do home automation, I'm gonna have remote sensors placed in there so I don't have to check. Here is, this is to control with that keyboard and an external, which I think I copied stuff to. So maybe I could bring this, I could actually, I could bring that upstairs, that whole thing with that, because there's some things, here she is. Welcome back, Baba Tubes. You've been down here before, remember? Are the spirits bothering you? You loved it down here. Nope, she's done. Meow. Uh, D10S, this is a to be reviewed item, but I was using it to feed from my laptop into fiber optic. So I'm just gonna leave it plugged in and here so I can see it. So that has to still be reviewed. I actually haven't used it as a DAC yet. I've only used it as a converter from USB to optical. I'm glad they didn't discontinue that. I thought they were gonna discontinue it entirely. Well, that's disheartening. What the fuck are you from? You're a brand new wire, power wire. And if I do this thing where I twist the wire tie around it, that's so I save it because it's a new unit and I'm gonna probably sell it. Did I take anything out of here that was like, that this would make sense with? I don't think I did, unless it was something networking. No, this takes the weird plug. Actually, one of these weird, both of these weird plugs why would I have two of them if I only have that one? That one goes to that one. The weird three-way plugs. These are not normal and I don't want to misplace that. Are you networking related? I don't recognize you. And then I don't recognize you. I'm gonna put you net. This is my box with all my electrical shit. Like all my wire, everything electrical wiring. Here it is. 
You need a wire? I got it. I fucking got it, buddy. Put that there until I know for sure that I could just toss it in the box. It's not like I don't have a million of those. But for some reason, that one was packed in with the rest of this VR stuff. And that. Why was that other fucking wire packed? This is raw materials. Uh, we've got a shirt. And now I have an empty box. What was I going to do with an empty box? VR stuff. VR stuff, Chewbacca. The VR headset. So I'm literally going to come back right over here. Um, she's back down. I knew she couldn't stay away. I gotta move some shit. I gotta put anything that's just like a piece of, uh, cutting board. This is all like raw materials. This is raw material area. Old sim racing wood. This will be the workshop. Uh, Chewbacca's gotta check this all out again. She doesn't have access to it all the time. So, I might put a doggy door. Wow. I mean, you're here. You could just see her brain, how her brain functions as, a, as an animal. Yeah, this definitely deserves its own spider-proof box. I'm gonna put it upside down so the wire is I'm not crushing it. Okay, that's VR stuff. Actually, I should probably put the, yep. this back in there let's put this back in there and then when I get the what's it called so I'll put those back until I'm ready to VR again I give myself two months before I'm like all right bored time to VR again right there and this will probably be the space Mostly because I can mount, I'll probably get the fourth one. I could do one, two, get a magnet mount, and I could make this as long as I want. Like I could go there, there, here, and then I'll just, don't punch the concrete wall. More VR stuff, shit, shit. This is the breakout cable for that. So that should go in there. Uh, just a rando fiber cable. Love how we were booting my computer. Remember when this was booting my computer? Computer, I can't live stream with no internet and this is mostly what I'd be doing on live stream anyway. So let's pretend I'm reading chat. I am Scruffy, just gave 4,000 bits. Thanks you, I am Scruffy. Morris is telling me to go fuck myself. Why, Morris? Why are you doing that? Um, you... You're the power cord. I'm, I'm sorting VR stuff first, and I have an extra battery in case this video is a million miles long. You are definitely a power brick for that, for the headset. Oh, this. This is important. I needed a place to put this, so now I'm going to put this here. This is a knife-looking thing, like a refrigerator magnet which can stay there, which by the way, the thicker the metal thing is, the better magnets work. And these are some thick ass, like eight inch supports. Seven inch supports? It seems bigger than six. Fiber cable, not really required at this moment. This is another charging thing that was sitting on my wall for my main rack in the living room. So this charged this charged my old GoPro and I stole the wire off of it already. Oh, this charged the two. Actually, I should just leave the whole fucking thing in there because this is what charged the the GoPros. The um the GoPro and the two knuckles controllers with these long USB C's. So if I need more USB C's, this is where they is. I could probably take this off in that case. What? Don't get covered in spider webs again, whether your eye looks like it's poked out because you're covered in spider webs. I know. I don't want to deny her coming down here because she'll just be curious and try to sneak down here like every cat is curious. So let her get used to it. Let her figure out what she wants to do with her life. I'm a good daddy. I'm a good daddy. 
that it for this? It's a USB mini. And two more random power cables, which... That had a power cable attached, okay. There's wires hanging off my camera now. This is great. I hear you, baby. These, oh, you... wait. I know what these are. Yeah, I know, I'm looking, baby. Okay, okay, stop. This I need to charge the old school GoPro, so I'll put that there with you. This is another fiber optic. So I added a fiber optic to the top of the D1090. So I had another fiber optic to the top of the D1090. These are identical figure eight plugs that are for you. And I forgot you when I packed you guys up. So you belong in here. So now I have the wire, the plugs, and the adapter for the Swan uh, M3As, which I might take those upstairs, hook them up in the loft because I haven't played speakers in the loft yet. And I wanna know how bad the acoustics are there. Did you leave? Yeah, she's upstairs. She used to, she was climbing behind the speaker wall and it was the cutest fucking thing and she decided to sleep there because I have the moving blankets down. Hey, remember when this was a computer video? Well, things, th here's the thing, everybody. I'm not here to make a video for you. I'm putting a camera in my head to generate content to make a video for this, this channel, the Zeo Spintera channel because People are missing out on live streams and Pasta needs to publish things every day or else the channel stops getting recommended and it's a fucking nightmare. So I think I've rambled on long enough and I think I've found everything I need and I've sorted through that entire box. The box disappeared, it evaporated. Did you notice it evaporated? That's all I need to do is evaporate one box and sort and organize another box. The next video will be the actual video where I turn this on because I'm gonna stop this and restart it, right? Right. 